Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today we're at the Atlanta RV Show. That's right, we're gonna check out something we've been looking forward to seeing for a while now, and that's the Cirrus 920 that just came out. We're gonna do a quick walk around tour on it and check it out. So we're excited to check out the Cirrus 920. We weren't expecting to actually see it today, and uh, so we don't know all the details, don't know the specs about it. So if you're interested, go to Cirrus and check them out online. Uh, we're just going to do a quick little tour of it and see what we think about it. So here we go. I'm going to check it out. So we are right underneath the Atlanta airport. As you can see, a plane's flying in. So you're going to have to bear with us on the, all the airplane noise. Very loud. Very loud, and it's very windy. So just uh, working with what we got here. We weren't quite prepared. But anyhow, this is it's a really good-looking new Cirrus 920. Oh, there's the plane. Okay. Squirrel. So gray and black yeah I like the blue stripe on there the diamond plate down there is cool I think that's pretty much a, a serious thing they do on most of their campers uh, it does have an awning on this side it's got the acrylic uh, double pane windows it's got the Ryko Titan jacks on it just doing a quick walk around here at the front it's got the stargazer window up there very cool looks like i can see some solar up there it's like a flat uh solar i don't know if you can quite see it so here's a look at the top of the new cirrus 920 you can see the truma air conditioner solar panel here on the back one on the front up there and it does also looks like it has the fiberglass uh sheet roofing on it you have to check the cirrus exactly about that but that's what it looks like it doesn't look much different from like the rest of their cirrus line even though this is a brand new model that they have this 920 it kind of matches the rest aesthetically uh, of the rest of their truck camper line but on this side basically just two more windows Got your 30 amp connection here, smart plug. I uh, don't know what's in here. There we go. Got got one 20 pound tank in there. I believe these doors are locked. This one's not. This one has the water connection. Controls down there in the outdoor shower. I'm not sure what is behind. This door here. Here's another look at the side and the back. Let's take a quick look at the plate on the back of the 920. So you can pause it and take a closer look if you like. It does say camper weight is 4,814 pounds. So it's a pretty heavy camper. One thing that Cirrus really stepped up on on this new 920 is this new front bumper that new bumper is the bomb now these storage boxes here on each side they are locked and there's nobody here to open them for us so we cannot open that but that new bumper having storage boxes on each side that is huge yeah. is that not Carly? i mean that's it really is i mean that would you know like if you didn't have a flatbed with boxes on the side you'd have those and that's awesome i mean truck campers are so limited in storage that every bit of extra exterior storage makes a big difference and there is looks like a a, a storage a, a door there that probably goes to the basement then that step does fold but i'm not gonna bother folding that now as a rear awning exterior ladder and let's go on in and take a look One other cool thing about this is that you can lock your handle here so that's an extra lock lock the, the handle yeah I think oh. that's lock. see what I'm saying okay yeah like that you lock the handle in that's neat cool. yeah. so let's see let me come on in and shut the door maybe that'll Help keep some of the eyes. wind and airplane out What's the first and foremost thing we gotta check out here, Carla? The bathroom. That's right, let's check it out. All right, now this new 920 
has a full dry bath. How about that? You know, those of us that have dry baths and truck campers do get excited. They're few and far between on a, on a small, not well, not small. The Cirrus 920 is not small, but it is a non-slide camper. So having a dry bath in here is really big. It's a big deal. So there's really plenty of room here. Got a nice bowl sink. Looks like there's a little medicine cabinet there. Got a light up top with the fan, the push up fan. Now the shower is, does have a little skylight in there so it lets a lot of light in. Big shower. I'm gonna get in the shower and uh, let's we'll see how roomy it is. I like that light. So this shower, and I'm I'm pretty pretty good sized guy. I'm six foot. Yeah, look so at that. I got plenty of room here, plenty of elbow what? room. What? The shower does have a pull out door, Sweet. and uh, it's very nice. I like it a lot. Yeah. This, and this skylight will actually pop up as well. There's a lot to learn here for other truck camper manufacturers. Yeah, right this here. layout of a dry bath and a non-slide camper needs to be in more campers. Yeah. It, they did a they did a, a fantastic job of uh, figuring out the layout to put a dry bath in a non-slide camper. Yes. Kudos to Cirrus. Okay, next to the door is a coat closet, wardrobe. It's actually really big in there. It's got the Aldi heating system. You can see that in there. Drawer. Got a drawer down there. Good size drawer. Yep. This is a pantry, but you can't see from that side. So you got a good size kitchen. Got some countertop space, induction cooktop. It does have an oven. This one particular model does have an oven. Cool. And it's got three more drawers down here. Drawers, some more, can, you know, storage underneath the sink. Looks like it has a pull-out faucet. Yeah, look at yeah, this. Yeah, sure it does. The sink. the sink is really deep. Look at that. Yeah, nice big deep sink in there. I like that. Cool yeah, that cutting board, board is the really nice. Right in there. That's kind of cool. Big window there. It's got the awning style windows. And the all the controls are over here. The left side of the kitchen. Tank monitors and all that. So if you want the, the tank sizes and specs, again, go check out uh, Cirrus online. Because um, we don't know that information, so. But you are welcome to complain all, all that you'd like down in the comments section about us not knowing all the specs and uh, you know, and all that stuff, that. you know. But that, yeah, I mean, you feel free to complain all you like. We're just winging it here, checking it out, just kind of like you are. Don't know much about it, but sort it is very first, nice. You know, appear, like the first impression of yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely first impression is very nice. I do like this this booth. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's very comfortable. The cushions are, I sat down on it. Yeah, and uh, it's really comfortable. very comfortable. The, the table's nice. I, I like the recessed lighting in the ceiling, which is kind of a serious thing. They've always kind of had some cool ceiling lighting. And it does have the Truma air conditioner, which is supposedly nice and quiet. I have not heard one in person, but uh, I believe it has the Truma air conditioning as long as the, as well as the Truma water heater. So here's the pricing. This camper is being sold by Southland RV in Norcross, Georgia. So if you're interested, $79,995 for a 2024 Cirrus 920. So the refrigerator is good size. Don't know what the cubic feet is on that, but again, go to Cirrus. And they'll tell you everything you need to know about this camper. I'm sure of it. Look at all this so there's cabinets in the back. Kind yeah, a lot, lot of storage up there up top on each side of the bed. This is a queen size bed. I'm quite certain this is an 80 inch uh, mattress. So that's always nice. It's a regular queen, not an RV queen. 
And there's the, the TV, which will swing around to the living area. That says the Truck Camper Magazine's 2023 Choice Award winner. So that's nice. Below the TV, it looks like there's a Furion radio, Bluetooth radio. So here's a view from the bed with the kitchen, the dinette. It's very light colored cabinetry and walls. Very pretty. This is a nice big window here at the dinette. There's some USBs right here on the side, which is very convenient. Yeah, USBs right there at the table. That's perfect. This makes it and there's two more outlets down below, so that's perfect. So you're. This makes it to a bed. Yeah, it makes it to a bed. To another bed, so you can sleep two up here and probably one here. A child, I would say. You might even be able to sleep a full adult if you're short. If you're short, <laughs> or if you, you don't stretch out a whole lot. Yeah. Carly wanted to point out that it does have a dog window. And I think. And it opens up. Look yeah. At that. So, cool. Gotta love the dog window. All right, well, that's just a quick look at the new 2024 Cirrus 920. I really liked it. It's a big camper. I mean, for what it is without slides and everything, I would, you know, I would enjoy it, I think. Yeah, for a non-slide camper, yeah, very nice, very roomy. And, uh, you know, it's also very expensive, but yes. <laughs> what camper isn't very expensive these days, it seems like. Exactly. You know, so if you're looking for one of the brand new models just came out, check out Southland RV and Norcross. They'll be glad to help you out. And uh, that's about it. So we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.